thank you for viewing us. From the Diplomat College Center, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet and Ambassador, by the will of God. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and agents of change. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and agents of change. Today, I want to focus what I believe shall be the keys of kingdom of heaven living on earth. Ngayon tayo ay tutuon sa aking pinaniniwalaan na pamumuhay sa kariyan dito sa lupa. Kingdom, Dominion on Earth, Part 2. Kingdom, Dominion on Earth, Part 2. Our focus is Kingdom, Dominion on Earth, Part 2. Ang focus ay Kingdom Dominion on Earth Part 2. You cannot experience what you do not understand. Hindi mo mararanasan ang hindi mo nauunawaan. Explain. If you do not understand the kingdom, you cannot experience kingdom life. The kingdom operate on knowledge. How am I making myself clear? One. Two. The most important gift God gave to man. All mankind is the gift of dominion. Wow. Wow. Three. Government. A kingdom is a government. Over a territory led by a king. The Bible is a library, a collection of God's idea. Ito ay koleksyon ng idea ng Diyos. When you approach in the Bible, pag inyong nilalapatan ang Biblia, you're not approaching a religious book. Hindi ito isang religyosong aklat. You're approaching a legal document. You're approaching a constitution. The Bible is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Wow. Write 
this down, please. We are in a seminar already in progress at the Diplomat Center. Isulat ni ninyo ito sapagkat tayo ay nasa isang seminar sa Diplomat Center sa Global Diplomat College Center. As you join us around the world, get your notepad, a clean sheet out of your notebook. Write this down, please. Daniel 2.44 Saklat ng Daniel, Kabanatang Dalawa, Talatang Apat na Put Apat. New King James Version of the Constitution. Sa New King James Version ng ating Saligang Batas. In the time of these kings. Sa panahon nga ng mga kahalhari. The time do not mean The day, or what is on your watch, or the hour, the time in the proper right time for God's plan. Ang panahon na to ay yung panahon ng tamang o tugmang oras sa panahon ng Diyos. Those kings. At sa mga karawan, ang mga hari yaon. Who are those kings? Those kings are God's royal family, kingdom citizens. Those kings are the saints, the righteous. God is K I N. She, King. Every citizen in the kingdom is a king. The king and priest. The priest and the king and the king and the priest. In those days of these kings, those kings, the God of heaven. The word heaven means country, God's country. From his country. Wow. He will set up a kingdom. I'll explain what his kingdom is. Lately, there are talk of Islam and many religion talking Christians and many churches and many pastors around the world are being attacked. Sa mga panahon na yun ay inaatake ng Islam ang marami mga Kristiyano at marami mga pastor. They are attacking a, a church. Inaatake nila mga iglesia. But this kingdom, you cannot attack it. It will never, ever be destroyed. Nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all these kingdoms. America. America. China. China. Israel. Israel. Rome. 
Roma. England. Inglaterra. Germany. Germany. France. France. Iraq, Iran. Iran. Australia, Canada. Australia, Canada. Philippines. Philippines. North and South Korea. North and South Korea. It will talk Indonesia. Indonesia. All the nations, all Asian country. Pakistan. Pakistan. It will attack Africa. Africa. The Bahamas, Turks and South Caicos Island, oh. Germany, Haiti. Bahamas and Turks at iba pang mga isla at Germany. Mexico, Honduras. Ang Mexico ang Honduras. Costa Rica. Ang Costa Rica. Brazil. Ang Brazil. Cuba. Cuba. All the countries around the earth, it will crush them and bring them to an end. But it will in itself endure forever. This kingdom is forever. The king is forever. The oldest king ever. Ancient of days. Elohim. Lord God Almighty. Lord God of hosts. El die. Live up your head, O gates. Be lifted up your everlasting doors. Let the King of Glory come on in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord. Strong. Mighty. Mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts. The commanding chief of heaven's army. He is the king of glory. All kings. Possess. The word possess means own. Three symbol. Number one. The crown. The crown means the king's power. Two. The censor. The censor means the king influence. Three. The scepter. The scepter means the king's authority. Dominion. Dominion, dominion. God give he give you is a scepter. 
shares same authority he has with you. Wow. Wow. The word set up. Underline that word, please. The God of heaven will set up. The way in which something especially organized or equipped or organized the plan that arranged. Kingdom system. Sistema ng kaharian. Kingdom structure. Estruktura ng kaharian. Kingdom establish. Ang establish establishado establishment ng kaharian. Kingdom operation. Ang pagkilos ng kaharian. Kingdom arrangement. Ang pagkakaayos ng kaharian. That's what the Lord will do. Yun ang gagawin ng Panginoon. He set up a kingdom. Siya ay magtatatag ng isang kaharian. A dominion. Kapamahalaan. That shall never. Na hindi kailanman. Never. Kahit kailan. Be destroyed. I'm making myself clear. We go in the Constitution of the Bible. Mark 1. Twenty-one to twenty-eight. Write this down, please. Isulat ninyo ito. Then they went in Capernaum. At sila ay nagtungo sa Capernaum. And right away, he entered in the synagogue. At pagdakay pumasok siya sa sinagoga. On the Sabbath. Sa araw ng Sabbath. Sabbath. And began to teach. The word teach is to transfer the information and the knowledge and the understanding that is in the master teacher in the hearts of the students. They were astonished at his teaching. Because unlikely the scribes, he was teaching them as one having authority. He was teaching with dominion. He was teaching with control. He's teaching with a kingdom. Explaining a government. Teaching as one having authority. You know, demons and all sorts of wicked folk, they hide in the churches. They were in this synagogue. A synagogue is the place where the elders, Jews, come to get information 
on instruction and teaching. Ang sinagoga nga ng panahong yaon ay kung saan nagtitipon ang mga matatanda sa ng mga hudyo na sila ay nagtinuturuan. Call a Jew synagogue. Sila ay mga tinatawag na mga sinagoga ng mga hudyo. On the Sabbath day. Sa araw nga ng Sabbath. They were astonished at his teaching. Because unlikely, like the scribe, not as the scribe, his teaching was as one having authority. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit was in their synagogue. He cried! Out! What do you have to do with us, Jesus? This man talk about us. Us mean six to sixty thousand demons he had in him. In the synagogue, he cried out, Jesus of Nazareth. Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. The Holy One of God. The demons, the demons recognize who came in the synagogue. The demons know if you got power and authority or not. But Jesus rebuked him and said, You know, preachers, in YouTube, Face, Word Network, Instagram, Facebook, and many other platforms treat teach what Jesus did. Not what he said. This is what he said. Be quiet. Shut up. Come out of him! I say to every demon in Greenville and around the earth, Shut up! Demon in the Philippines, shut up! Demon in China, shut up! Demon in Africa, shut up! Come out of him! Come on out of him! And the unclean spirit combusts him, shouting with a loud voice, and came out of him! That is kingdom dominion on it! Jesus demonstrated kingdom dominion on earth. Hallelujah. 
God give that same dominion to you. But sin smother that dominion from you. Question, do you know why Jesus came to earth? For 1800 years. Man lost his dominion. Going to 4,000 years, man lost his dominion. Jesus came to earth to restore your dominion that you lost. On earth. God never give you authority over human. God give authority over animals. Or bird fishes. Horse cattle. Rat lizards. And of all the earth, kingdom dominion on earth. Then they were all amazed so that they argue with one another. Religious folks love to argue. Christian folks love to argue. The Baptists argue with the Catholic. The Catholics argue with the Seventh Day. The Seventh Day argue with the Jehovah Witness, and every one of these denominations arguing with one another. Saying, what is this? A new teaching? That's what your pastor buried. The kingdom of God in the graveyard of religion. A new teaching with authority is the kingdom of God. Dominion spirit. Dominion people. He command even the unclean spirit and they obeyed him. Notice this is not a prayer meeting. This is a kingdom. It is the government. And the unclean spirit obeyed him. Kingdom, dominion, authority. The news about him then spread throughout all the entire of Galilee. And as soon as he left the synagogue, then went in Simon and Andrew house. His disciple mama house. With James and John. 
Simon's mother-in-law was laying in bed with a fever. And they told him about her at once. So he went to her, took her by the hand. Raised her up. The fever left her. Kingdom of God authority. The fever left her. And she began to serve him. When the evening came after the sun had set, they began to bring to him all those who were sick and those who were demon possessed. The whole town assembly at the door. Wow. As the kingdom of God came to the city. And he healed many who were sick with various disease, drought, but many demons. But he could not permit them to speak because they knew him. I want to share an operation the setup of the kingdom the meaning power where, where does power first begin very early in the morning While it was yet dark, about four and five o'clock in the morning, he got up and went out and made him away to a deserted place. And he was praying dear. This kingdom dominion power came from time spent with God. More time with God, less time with man. Prayer meeting is worth the one of the least attend the service in Christianity. Christians talk about prayer, but they don't pray themselves. If you want to apply this kingdom, dominion, power on earth, you must pray. Spend time with God. Simon and his company went searching for him. They found him and said, Everyone is looking for you. Let us go to the next neighboring village so that I may preach there too. That's why I have come. That's why I've come to it. 
to preach the gospel. Upang ipangaral ang ebanghelyo. What is the gospel? Ano ang ebanghelyo? The gospel is Ang ebanghelyo ay good news. Ay ang mabuting balita of the kingdom of God. Nang kariyan ng Dios. It's not carry. Dito tungkol sa kalbaryo. It's not a resurrection. It's not the blood, not the cross. Not even Calvary. Not even born again. You are the redempted work of Christ. But the message is... The gospel. The good news. Of the kingdom of God. Amen. He will wounded for transgression. To abuse for our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. I send your word in the Philippines, send your word in Australia, send your word in Russia, send your word in Texas, send your word in Georgia, send your word in South Carolina. Send your word around the world. I speak healing to those who are sick, those who are undergoing a fever. I cast every unclean spirit out of folk who possess all righteous fathers. The world has not known you, but we have known you. We come to thee, O Holy Father. We pray for every kingdom citizen, every believer. Keep them through your name, our Father, the God in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debt. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you. May God bless your family. God bless the United States of America.